All right, hello my friends. I enjoyed the last game of Subnet of the Escape Room Adventure series. So I'm gonna check out Alumni. Now I will go ahead and preface this video with uh, this game only has a 66% positive rating. I did look at the reviews and they did say that it was, um, the ending puzzles made no sense. So I'm gonna jump in and find out if I agree with them or not. So let's go ahead and start a new game here. Like I said, I enjoyed the last one. Dang, that was loud. All right, so the one minute mark is the start. All right, what do we have here? Okay, seems like it's the same controls as last time. We have papers with C, D, A, B on them, and each of them has their own little marks on the screen. I am sitting in a chair, apparently. Okay, the chairs don't have any kind of clipping. Uh, my mouse's movement's a little fast. Let me go ahead and uh, trim that down slightly. Ooh, that's kind of a... Eek. All right, there we go. That's perfect. Okay, let's see what this has to say. Oh, it's just to click on this. Okay. Okay, so pencils is C. House is D. Uh, microscope is A. Blue house B. Blue house is B. That was easy to remember. And then the dark house is D. And then the colorful pencils is C. So we'll try to lock that way in the brain cage. I kind of like the atmosphere of this one. I can't walk under that. Okay, we can't touch the clock on this. I am doing this video in pretty much the same day I did the other video because I enjoyed the other one so much. Okay, this is something we're gonna have to remember. That's an oof. Um, We'll have to come reference this in the future because I am not gonna remember that. We got a keypad. The power of the keypad is off, so we can't even use the keypad. And that goes to that door. Okay. I'm gonna try to go in every nook and cranny. Actually got an achievement for that called Bookworm just now. Uh, we do have the letter G. Or the number nine, perhaps. Wait, I have to know countries? Um, I'm American, I don't know countries. Uh, we have the seven and a two. Okay, so we have some bookshelves that have uh, numbers on them. Six and four. Okay, so we lock that away in the brain cage. Uh, I think Italy was pointed to and it's 59. I know Italy at least. She was like a boot. Italy was 59, I know that one. I don't know what these countries are. Uh, green, green, ice, green, green, near Iceland. Unless we've been to war with you, I don't know what your country is. Uh, Ireland has five, so this must be Europe. Brother, I'm dumb. Uh, I'm guessing Ireland is that top left one. Because I don't see... Yeah, Ireland must be the top left one. Is this Ireland? There's gonna be people angry with me. And then we have 60... We have two different 67 millions and a 47 million. Uh... So the two 67 millions have the United Kingdom and France. I think I know where France is. And a 47 million, which is Spain. Okay, so United Kingdom, France, and Spain. 
Uh, this must be the United Kingdom then. Does these, do these matter which one's which? Wait, where's Spain? This is Spain and this is France? Oh lordy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know maps. <laughs> uh, just, just pass it off as typical American. Doesn't know geography unless there's been a war. Loading <laughs> book. Uh, we need a breaker. Yeah, a fuse is missing. We need a fuse. Now, these bookshelves are going to come in handy later. Okay, this door just opens. Thank you. Uh, another keypad here. Powered is off. Oh, we need books. Oh, never mind. We don't need books. Um... Well, that was the order they were in. But maybe we need to range it from A, B, C, D. So this was A. And then blue house. Colorful. There we go. Got a drawer key. Power to the electronics is off. Okay, that's all we have access to in here that I noticed. Okay, so we have some sort of drawer key. Do we have... a desk? Yes. We have a fuse. That got rid of our key, right? Yep. I don't know what these bookshelf numbers intend yet. I don't know why there's a G. Okay. Oh, I, we don't have to do anything fancy. Okay. Um. They even have like the old computer noises. <laughs> Those things are so noisy. thing last time with these this is a three number code can we take that as the last one's eight what would L signify though perhaps nine I have no idea what this one would be. Hmm. What would this possibly be? I don't see any keys on here that would signify this weirdness. And I don't see a hint for it, so I'll be back for that one. Anything over here I missed? So that one's four numbers. How many numbers do we have here? Two, seven, that's a G. Three, four, six. That's too many numbers. That's too many numbers. What do, what good do these do? That's a G though, isn't it? Not a nine is a G. Hmm. Does this clock have any significance? It's stuck at twelve or five past twelve. No, clock doesn't seem to have any significance to it. So what's the point of these? I guess we assume the last thing's an eight. Those are noisy as shit. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna try a few things and then see if I can figure out reverse. Okay, that was all the ideas I had for that. The other one was the L was below the 9 key. So we'll try something like this real quick. Oops. Just for curiosity's sake. No, okay. So what does the L mean? What does this mean? And what does the 8 mean? I inherently have no idea. As noisy as sin. Yeah, because the 8 doesn't help me out, does it? L, that, and then an 8? I see these bookshelves help me out at all. I think they do. Huh. I don't know. I was kind of bulldozing this and now I'm stuck. Okay, what could this possibly be? This is four numbers. We have a seven, a two, a three, and a six that are all standing. And this last one's a G, not a nine. I'm, I'm convinced that's not a number. So let's just go with six, three, seven, two. Let's try it out. So we have six, three, seven, and two. No. Okay, so there's no hint there. Does this do anything for me if I follow this? No, it ends. Just ends right up there. So what's the hint for this? We have some nonsense numbers over here. Two, seven, six, and three is standing. There's something on the roof, perhaps? Ooh, this feels kind of bad. I bulldozed that last game. What do these mean? Uh, maybe one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two. So four, six, two. Hey, okay. Okay. I was overthinking it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, okay. So the room in the previous room, we had two, seven, nine, six, four, three, I believe. Going up and down. So two, seven, nine, six, four, three. It would be seven, six, nine, four. I was so convinced of that. Yeah, seven, six, nine, four. Yeah, two, seven, nine. Oh, it says the exit's this way. Oh, maybe that changes it. Okay, where's the exit? Oh, this is the exit. Okay, okay, never mind. So it was, it was facing this way. So, uh, now I gotta reverse it. That hurts. Um, four, four, nine, seven, four, six. Maybe, hang on. So if the exit, I wish I could take this with me, brother. So we know the middle one is four. And the last number is the seven. So we know middle one's four, last number is seven. 
I mean, first one's four, last one's seven. Let's go put the four in real quick so I don't have to remember it. So we got the four put in. And the exit's this way. So we'd be looking at it like this, then. And this was one, two... <laughs> I can't reverse the image of my head. One, three, three, three. The next one's three. And then two is on the top. So, uh... uh nine, nine, six. Four, nine, six, seven. Okay, there we go. Like, reversing stuff in my head, I can't visualize things, so doing that really hurts my brain. Okay, we're out. It wasn't too bad. It took about, it took about 15 minutes for the uh, first area, and I think I read there's 10 sections, so we're looking for about two hours worth of content. But, of course, stuff might be a lot harder as we go through. We got a poster. The stuff on the back of it. Oh, we didn't have stuff on the back of our last ones. Okay. Uh, so it was four, two, four, or four, one, two, four, two. I'm probably not gonna remember that, but we're gonna bring it with us. Oh, hello. We had, uh... And the hint's right here. Wait. Oh, this is literally the thing. It has three, two, one, two, four, two, one. It has the exact same thing, doesn't it? Yeah, three, two, one, and then one, two. Yeah, the numbers match the little Sudoku it has, bro. Wait, would this just be like an actual freaking Sudoku? And this would be a four here, and this would be a three. I'm curious to see if it's actually just a Sudoku. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, this would be a two in this column. Uh, this would be a three in this column. This would be a four, and this would be a... No, this that can't be. You can't have four. This would have to be a four. No, this can't be a four. This has to be a two. This has to be a four. Oh, this can't be a four. This is a one. I'm dumb. There we go. Um, Now we gotta remember colors, though. So it actually was just a mini Sudoku. That's pretty cool. Um, red four, green three, blue four, purple four. Okay, so we're basically all four. The only ones we have to remember is green is three. We just have to remember green is three. Okay, there's nothing over here, thankfully. Remember, green is three. Oh, this was the, uh, uh, that one. Wasn't it? Oh, it was the second one. Okay, almost had it. I was gonna get it eventually. I just I forgot my little four one two. We have a colored book here. Why is this book colored? I got an achievement called Cozy Nook. We're going in that corner. So if you're looking for achievements, go in that corner. Is there anything down here? I got another achievement called Investigator. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, easy. Um, this was the only number that was a three. What? Uh, what? Oh, this is a different color. Uh, so it's four, three... Oh, was there a color here I wasn't seeing? Um, four, three, four, four. I'm not going all the way down. Yeah, 
I'm not going all the way down for it. <laughs> I'm just gonna brute force it. Uh, wait, this is it? Hold up, I'm missing something, aren't I? Hold up, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Don't we have a door over here? Yeah, this door's locked. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why, why is it letting me progress? Shouldn't there be another? Oh, this, this one was lit up. I didn't notice that one. Wait, hold up. Why is it letting this go forward? Um, we're we gonna come back this way? Because in the, in the newer game, you didn't come back. So I'm gonna take a look around real quick just to make sure. Um, yeah. Well, I guess we do go that way. Uh, I kind of don't like leaving that door there, but maybe we just go forward and that's it. I guess I'm never gonna find out what's in that door. Weird. Okay, now we're kind of getting cryptic. We've hit kind of cryptic territory here. Can't open the door. The number button is missing. We can't go back. How funny would it be if it jump scared the piss out of you right here? Uh, we have letters. Ooh, how many letters? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why are these shaped differently? What do these symbols mean? Okay, so these are shaped differently. Let's take a look. One, two, four, six, it says. I'm guessing the code is literally just in order. So the first one will be off the six in the bottom left, so it'll be a T. Uh, T, E, T, P, K, K, H, K, T, P, A, K, H, K. It was not it. Oh, maybe I reversed it. So, I, I thought this meant like bottom left corner. I think this actually means the this corner. Okay, so I messed that up. So that would be uh, M I R R. Is this freaking spell mirror? I hate everything. <laughs> I thought it was about to jump scare me. What is this? Okay, so you have to hit these five in sequence. We have a five, a four, a three, a one, and a two. I mean, these are actually really nice looking. Okay, so here's where that thing comes from. Uh, we have to hit these in order sequentially. Uh, we start with triangle, penna, penna. So I'm just gonna go uh, three, five, five, four. Three, five, five, four. So it's three, five, five, four, three, five, five, four. Numbers are so much easier to remember than shapes. I got an achievement called Persistence. Oh, I can't click anything here. Um, we have one circle, and then two circles, and then three circles, and then one, two, three, four. So we have four, one, Three two four one three two. Where's that go to? 
I thought you could click these for a second. So we have four, one, three, two. You have a cubicle key. We have a keypad. No, four one three two, not four one two three. Yeah, I was doing it right. I was counting circles. All right, we're zooming. I still don't know what's in that one locked door. Uh, I guess I just missed something. I hope not. I don't like missing stuff. I'm gonna go back and find out, honestly. We have a door key. And we have uh, Chevron XFT, Chevron F. XFT. And then we can do. So we need something of a six. So whatever this is, equates to six numbers or something later. Okay, so we'll come back to that. I don't know what that signifies. This door is locked. There's nothing in this. Can't access this one. And this is also six. So this six matches this six. We have, we do have a door key. I guess we are door key. I'm not even sorry. All right, apparently we're Egyptian now. Ancient Egyptian, rather. So this is four. We have a pipe. He killed him in the back room with a pipe. Yes. Okay, and I don't notice anything about this. We have some sort of pipe. Don't do me no good. Nothing written here, nothing there. I don't see anything that helps us over here. And we have some sort of symbology here. We have like a person, a vase, an eye, and then the cancer symbol with extra loops, because who doesn't like three loops? Uh, 1884 might be something. Heck, I'll try it. No. <laughs> that would have been nice, huh? Okay, so we have a pipe of some sort. We open this with the pipe. No. Okay. So that's all we have to work with right now. Okay, what does this mean? So there's some combination of six we'd have to hit. I have no idea what this means, though. Uh, two? Four? Three? Two? Two? Three? No. I was kind of certain on that. Um, because it ends at four, and that was the only thing I could think of for four. What would this possibly be then? Hopefully, I'm barking up the right tree here. Maybe points on it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Hmm. 
I'm not sure on this one. We'll come back to it. I can only come back to so many different things. And then this one has something to do with that one I'm kind of certain on. Because they're both six. Hmm. Okay, so what is our hint in here? We have some weird symbols that make no sense. So what are these what does the symbology have to do? What does this symbology mean? Because I don't know what that first symbol is. What is that first symbol? Base I ribbon? Base I ribbon? Hmm. Base I ribbon. And this one's only four, right? Yeah. Is there anything on this bookshelf here that has that symbol on it, perhaps? Take a close look. I think I'm barking up the wrong tree, though. Atlas of the world, give me that. History of Germany. Science of whatever. Can't even see these bottom ones. Oh, I think these are just, no, they're not copied. Because these are different. I mean, they're same books, but they're in like a different order. But I don't think that has anything to do with it, because just, Random. I was hoping this would, some would be in this drawer. Drawer. Yeah, I don't see anything. Hoping I can maybe like push these out of the way or something. No. Okay, so where on earth is this hint? I. Base. I. Base I. Ribbon? Is there like some language thing here that I don't understand, perhaps? Hmm. Nothing blocking that. Nothing over here. Over here. I'm looking at the ground like a gremlin now. Hold up, I'm leaning forward. I'm leaning forward. We have our symbology over here, like this. Do these lockers signify something? Okay, activating gremlin mode, leaning forward. We're looking like a shrimp. I'm probably really loud in the microphone, I'm sorry. Uh, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Four. Uh, four, two, five, three, perhaps. I was really hoping that would be it. Um, okay, I'm, I'm cracking out the pen. So we have, uh, I'm gonna do P for person, B for vase, E for I, and then R for ribbon. Iver. Honestly, this probably is what we're supposed to get through this door right here. 
and uh, this probably has nothing to do with what I want it to do but just in case I'm gonna write down what I think it is and that's the second locker so I'm just gonna do this real fast and see if I'm correct so V for vase and that's the second locker and then the ribbon was three the eye was the fifth one and the person was four four two five three okay that's the code i did write in and i did not work so we need to figure out what this is over here yeah so that's not it i wrote that in the order okay so we need to figure out what this desk symbol means over here this one's a lot harder than the newest one I have no idea what this symbology means. Nothing in the lock. We got a piece of metal pipe, though. I'm trying to see if this had any more clues on it. <laughs> that door's locked. Let me hear binoculars. Okay, so what does this possibly mean? Chevron X F Ooh. Is it how many angles it has, perhaps? So one, four, two, three. So one, four, three, two. One, three, one, four, three, two, one, three. Ooh, okay, I actually got it. I was not expecting that. That was the last thing I tried, because I tried this, I tried counting the points, and it wanted me to count the angles in it. That's sneaky. Uh, we have eight, 14, 12, oh, zero, eight, one, four, one, two. Zero, eight, zero, eight, one, four, one, two. We got our pipe in there, baby. Got our key. Just in here. I just had that little hiccup. Okay, so that one... Okay, okay, okay. Vase is five. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Ribbon's five. Yes, I am writing these down. Person's two. And this is what in the holy heck is that? And I is one. So two, 20, 200. Yeah. That should look kind of cool. I want that. Okay, nothing here. So we got our number, 2515. That was a weird camera angle. Uh, please don't tell me I had to know math. I do not remember geometry. It, the last time I took geometry was 17 years ago. The sun, the moon, and the earth. Uh, now, where do I do this puzzle is the question. That door's still... Wait. Where's the puzzle? Hold up. Where's the puzzle? Oh. Hello?
the sun, the moon, and the earth. I mean, that's cool, but where's the puzzle? Uh... What? Can't click this anymore. Can't click this anymore. Click this anymore. Okay, so there's nothing with that. Nothing with this. We grabbed the, the note out of here. Is that no? We grabbed the key out of here, and then we came in here. Sorry, where's the puzzle? Oh, oh, I did not see this. Um, sun, moon, uh, the, the hour hands on five, so it's five thirty five. Oops. Okay, there we go. That that one's on me. I know from the last game, if we don't save at the start of a new area and we progress, we uh, can't progress. Oh. Okay, we can put these in any slot over here. So we need to find out some sort of pattern over there. Yeah. Having a little bit of frame dips, don't mind. Yeah, that's some frame dipping. Hey, don't mind me, I'm just having some frame losses. Um, I don't know why I'm having frame losses in here, good lord. Uh, I'm gonna have to remember this crap, aren't I? Pyramid 22423, I'm not gonna remember Which is, oh, which is oldest and newest? Oh, I can do that, hell. Okay. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, BC goes in reverse order, so 2600 is the oldest, right? So we have uh, Resh Temple Pyramid. And then we just gotta remember th the last three. What's up here? Uh, coffin, rigged, and dead. Coffin, rigged, and dead. We have a note, eight, with four trailing after it. Numbers to remember, one, two, two, three, three, one, three, four, 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 and five, one. I'm not gonna remember that. 12, 23, 31, 34, 44, 51. 12, 23, 31. So 12, 23, 31. There's six numbers. Yeah, there's six numbers and I only have five columns here. So this puzzle doesn't have anything to do with that. At least I don't think. Okay, so let's see what else we can find. Let's look around. Solve pattern how? One, two, three. Two, three, one. Three, one. It's gotta be yellow.
Okay. One number is right and in the correct position. One number is right, but in the wrong position. Two, what the hell? Two numbers are right, but in the wrong positions. Nothing is right. One number is right, but in the wrong position. Do I click on it? No. I'm guessing that's what those come from. One, two, three. So does this have to do with this then? Oh, okay. So, so we have to figure out which of these combinations, um, so the top one says one number is right and in the correct position. So initially we assume it's going to be six. It's just because you just take the first one and then you go on to the second one one number is right but in the wrong position so if you had the six then it's not correct in the fourth one we have nothing is right so the numbers cannot possibly be two a nine or a three but two nine and three are the only ones in here except for the second one and the last one so we can eliminate nine out of those two and there is no three so three is just flat out ignored so at least in the second and fifth one, we can ignore nine. So we have six and eight. And we know six is not the leftmost number, so we can eliminate six being the leftmost number. So six is probably part of it in a different order. Or the eight, because the last, the third one says two numbers are right, but in the wrong positions. So the only things we have are the, I'm guessing it's going to be a six, eight, and a one, perhaps. So maybe I was wrong about the first one. The second one says one number is right, but the wrong position. But then the top one couldn't be a six, could it? So maybe four is the middle number. I'm going to call that right now. Four is the middle number. And it can't be a nine here, so that would place the six at the end, but that contradicts the first sentence. And then this one could just be brute forced if any of these are correct, so this is not correct, because you could brute force it. But as long as we can figure out two of these, we're, we're in like Flynn. So one number is right, but in the wrong position. One number is right, so yeah, I think the, the calling of the four in the middle is correct. But that also means we can't have a one. But the third but the third one says two numbers are right, but in the wrong position. So we can assume eight is correct. And potentially the seven. So we have eight, four, and seven. Damn. So the eight would go last and the seven would go first. Yep, got it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, we have eight, seven, blank, zero, blank. Eight, seven, blank, zero, blank. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, fix equation. A match is missing. We need to find a match. Please don't be something tiny that, that I'll be overlooked. Okay, that's the key cat key code to get out of here. Okay, I'm glad I looked over here again. Okay. Fix the equation. Seven minus five equals three. Oh, 
Can you move like all of these? You put something here and you can put something here. You can't take this one away. So this would have to be a plus and you can put something here. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Nine plus nine equals three. I am good at math, brother. <laughs> okay, so we have four of these. Can I put this over here at all? You can't put this over here at all. You can only put this here, which doesn't make any sense. We have a nine. So whatever we do has to equal three over here. I wanted to make this an eight, but I don't think we can. Because we can't grab this one away, which means we can only place something here. Kind of weird. Zero minus five equals three. That looks right. Uh, I'm not good at visual puzzles. Okay, so what? how else can we transform this 5? We can make it a 9, but nothing over here plus 9 equals 3? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we can just... We can also just copy that there. I mean, that doesn't make no sense, though. Be stuck here while well. I'm not good at visuals. Nine minus five equals three. Minus nine. Nine plus five equals three. Because we can't stick stuff over here. What can I do with this? Does does this assume we have to have some sort of plus here? This would be like minus two. <laughs> I have a feeling that's not right. <laughs> I'm just clicking stuff now. Okay, let's, let's stop and think about this. So, that can't be a negative number, can it? Like, can we take stuff away? No, we can't take anything away. Can't take anything away. Oh, hold up. We can take stuff away. Never mind. This changes everything. Hold the phone. I didn't realize we could take that away. That's cheating. I thought I moused over it. Um, and we still have this one over here, which I can't make heads or tails of yet. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We do have six. Oh, um, how does that interact with that, though? I mean, we have enough numbers we can just brute force it, but I want to figure this out. Okay, so we have one, two, two, three, three, one, three, four, 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 and five, one. We have 12. Let's try that out. We have 12. This would make 12. We have two, three, which makes this one. Uh, then we have three one and three four. And then we have four four and five one, was it? Yeah. Okay, that was easy enough. I had all the num numbers I needed. I don't know why I took off of this one. Okay, we got all the notes. We're good to go. And then it's uh eight seven three zero two. Easy peasy. We're in. Okay, we're gonna save here. Check my shift tab. We have five out of eight achievements. I'm just gonna look at the achievements here. Uh, you enjoy nothing more to gaze out of a window. Okay, so I guess I have to look out a window, play a game, and you're a time traveling expert. No, that's beating the game. Okay, so we're almost done. At least I think so. We've been playing for 55 minutes. This video is gonna be huge. 
Uh, just to put that in perspective, the last video I made of this was... Um, the last video I made was uh, 44 gigabytes, I believe, for that hour and like 30 minutes it was. Okay, uh, there's nothing over here, brother. This is a bookshelf with nothing in it. Okay, we have some, uh, Portugal doesn't have a flag. Uh, insert French joke about being surrender flag or something here. Although, people need to realize, without the French, America never would have been made. They supplied us with a lot of cannons and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so that's another six code. Lordy, they like their six codes, don't they? That one's five. Okie dokie. I'm really hoping these are just patterns on the wall and not actually symbols to hit. Okay, so we're going upstairs. We're looking for... This way up, this way up, this way up, this way up, this way up. Uh, right, right, up, down, down, left. Right, right, up, down, down, left. Wait, what? I clicked like 11 times. Oh my god, there's some sort of musical thing where I have to click 12 times? Brother, no. That scared the shit out. Oh my god, 12 tones, oh no. Do I have to know music? Oh no. Also, that was loud as shit. Um, I don't know what these symbols mean. A, A, B, C, C, D, D, E, uh... Oh. A, A, B, C, C, D, D, E, F, F, G, G. I don't want to touch the guitars again because that scared the crap out of me. We need A, A, B, C, C. D, D, E, F, F. I already forgot. D, D, E, F, F. Thank you, Lordy. Okay, uh, join friends on campus every Thursday at 4 p.m. in the music room and meet with people similar interests while improving your own learning. Everyone welcome. And we have, um... Ha half... Half moon, full moon, half, half, full. So, half, full, half, half, full.
Okay, so please make me do nothing with those guitars because there's nothing more than me not wanting to hit those again in the universe. And this is the part where I look at just kill myself. So I am ignoring the crap out of them guitars. That's just graffiti? Because I can't read that. Here's a little secret about George. I can't read cursive. Oh, great. Um, flags. Yeah. I don't remember these. I remember China was first. Okay, so we gotta go remember flags. Please never make me go near those guitars again, because I hate them. I'm gonna, like, look at every clock and I go by. Okay, so we have, uh... George is taking a picture with his phone and cheating. Not cheating, I'm using my devices accordingly. I don't know why Portugal's flag is missing, but okay. Okay, so we had... Oh, give me my photo. Okay, so we had China at first. This was China. Then we had the United States next, which would probably be signified by a star. Then we had Brazil, which was this symbol. Then we had good old Canada, which would probably be this one. Then we had the United Kingdom, which looks like this one. And then this would be Japan. There we go. Save. Can't open that door. Uh, some sort of weights? Oh, wait, these are in different weight amounts. Um, I know kilograms are heavier than pounds by like twice. No, reverse that. Pounds are twice as heavy as kilograms. So 25 pounds is like 12 kilograms or something like that. And then grams is the lowest amount. And then I don't know how ounces relates to... There's 16 ounces to a pound, is that right? Dude, I hate the American system. Uh, there's 16 ounces to a pound, so 250 divided by 16... Uh, Less than double. Uh, like 15.6 pounds or something? And then I don't remember what grams is. So if this is 15, let's just call it 15 pounds. If this is 15 pounds, Half of that in kilograms is like seven kilograms because I don't know what the conversion is. Um, this would be the lowest regardless. No, but that's the lowest regardless. Um, oh, thank goodness. Some sort of puzzle, okay. Okay, this is getting some real cryptic sh right here. Uh, square is eight. So eight's the first number. Uh, let's go find triangle next. Where's triangle? We're gonna do. We're gonna do it my way. Triangle's next. Or is it 99? We'll go with 99. 
Then we have circle. Oh, it's just three. Did I have to walk that far? And then we have a circle with a cross in it, which was over here, I believe. Four. And then we have a, a star. Where is the star? Seven. I have no idea what that means up there. We have a key. Oh Lord, no, help me. No, I'm so bad at these. Because I have to remember which ones turn on, which ones turn off, and I'm terrible. Uh, what's this mean? We have, uh, 250. F no. Uh, by the way, if you're doing clocks, um,. If it's at the 15 mark, it should already be a fourth of the way to the 12, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. Um, we have uh, 2.55, no, 11.15. Then we have... Uh... 10.05 I'm gonna write this down because I'm not gonna remember so we have a we have a 10 50, no we have 11 15 we have 10.05 and then we have uh, 8 45 and then we have 7 15 I can make heads nor tails of that. Because in the first one, you go down an hour and 10 minutes, and then you drop a whole bunch. You go down, you lose an hour 10, and then the next one, uh, if you lose five minutes, you lose an hour and five. Hour 20. You lose an hour and 20. Yeah, not. You go down to 9.05, then you lose 20 minutes. You go down to 45, so you lose an hour 20. And the next one, you lose an hour 30. And so in this one, you should lose an hour 40. Uh, and losing an hour 40 would drop you down to, let's see, 6.15. Uh, then minus 15 would leave you 25, so 35, so 535. I think this would be 535. Uh, why is it, is it it's such a weird system, bro? This would be 535. Yeah, we got that one. Uh, we have the switching one over here, which I'm afraid to death of. Uh, we need an electrical cable. We got a key. Oh lord, we got chess. Uh, let's play. Achievement, okay. Here's the cable. Chess piece is missing. Okay, so hopefully we just need to put the chess piece in. Okay, I'm avoiding this one right now because I don't like those puzzles. Oh, are we just making the number 12? Or, you know what I mean. So we have to make 
that. Well, this one would just be this, right? Because it just goes up and down. This would have to go here. I'm confused. Uh, these are bush straight, though. These are the same piece. Okay. But what, what exactly am I doing with this? piece that goes like this at the top. Do we have to use all of these? Oh, this can, this goes off the board, though. Does that matter? This one moves this one. I'm just hoping that none of these move the other ones. I will never get it. <laughs> no. 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 I'm not going to remember this. This one moves this one. But this one moves on its own, right? Okay, this one moves on its own. So we can move this one independently. This one doesn't matter since this one moves on its own. Okay, so, so this one doesn't matter and this one don't matter. This one doesn't matter and this one doesn't matter, okay. Then this one, and then the... Oh, I got it! Hey, I accidentally my way to victory. Uh, I still have no idea what the heck that means. Um, we're missing a chess piece still, though. What on earth does this mean? So one, two, three, four. So it's six that we have to do. Oh, this must be counting. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Said it. One, two, three. Uh, four, five, six. Got it. And three was this one right here. So this one. One, two, three, four, five. That's not it. I was for sure that was going to be it. I guess we have to do the last one first. Oh, here's our chess piece. Okay, we got it. Chess notation. Uh, pawn is a P, I'm guessing. Now, why is knight N? Because it's not knight. the square which it is moved uh i'm still gonna go with pawn goes to p because it starts with a p and the only reason they couldn't use uh knight for k was because k is already taken so pawn goes to p sure
We can move this pawn. Pawn goes to... Wait, there's no P. What the hell? There's no K. Hang on, what? There's no R. phone take a picture for me baby I don't think this makes much sense though Else we have as a hint, or is that it? Oh no, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, try this opening chess move, it's great. Like, it's probably like fool's mate or something. Uh, e4 to e5. E2. What do you mean E4 to E5? We can't do E4 to E5 because you don't start with a piece on the middle section. What? Or do you know how chess works? it means pawn to e4 oh it's because there's no letter there it's just blank right so once again we don't have a pawn you can't move a pawn that far you can only move a pawn up two spaces on your on its opening turn like yeah so this would have to go here to here according to this thing and then your knight goes... Oh, no, maybe it means, um, we open like this, black opens like this. Okay, I guess that makes sense now. Okay, that makes sense. Never mind, I'm stupid. And then it was, uh... Uh, knight to f3. Knight to f3, knight to c6. Knight to F3, Knight to C6, Bishop to C4, Bishop to C4. This piece can capture this one. Kind of looks like black made a mistake. Shouldn't have black move. I don't know. Okay, I, I get it. It makes sense. I shouldn't be commenting on chess. I'm freaking terrible at chess. If you want to see, see something really bad, watch me play chess. So I can't visualize. But we got it. Yeah, I was right. It was just uh, uh, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Brother, that's it. Or, or do we do four, six, three, one, two, five? We do. Four, six, three, one, two, five. Okay. I was reading too much into it. Oh, 
Okay, we saved. Can't open this door. Can't open this door. Uh, we have five colors. And we do a code of five. Oh, and then we have some playing cards, which has diamond, heart, club, spade, 2793. Diamond, heart, club, spade. We can recover it. Get out of here. We don't love you. Uh, diamond, heart, club, spade, 2793. Uh, please tell me we're in view of that. Oh, Lord, you're not. Um, 2793. So diamond's two. So two and two. Seven, nine, three, seven, two, nine, three, two, nine, seven, two, nine, three, two, nine. Uh, Eric, can I have my prize? Uh, what do I do with dominoes? Okay, so I can pull all of those. Can we attach a... Okay, I can't pull this. Okay, I can pull this one. I don't know how to play dominoes. How do you play dominoes? I need a four and a two. What is this? Uh, I guess count the squares. Uh, there's three red squares. Uh, then we need yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. Wait, this goes into the next area. What's this door? What's this door? I don't like this one bit. How do I get to these doors? It feels like I'm skipping content. Am I skipping content? No, I'm not. Uh, you just can't open those doors? Okay. I don't like that. But okay. Yeah, we have something there. I'm not gonna look at it just yet. Something locked. Something cryptic here. Locked. Oh, we're just doing math? Okay. Um, well, nine... What is nine times eight? That's 72? All right. We have 72... Oh, there's only three symbols. Sixty four divided by four. I have no idea what that is. Uh, four times ten is twenty four. That means forty. <laughs> uh, four times ten is forty, and then leftover of six, so sixteen. We have a button now. What does it do mean?
Got a button. Where can I use said button? Okay, so we have to put these in some sort of position. Does this help me at all? Um, I don't know how this helps me. How does this help me as well? Uh, maybe we take this as up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down. Yes. It's gonna be four numbers, isn't it? Yes. It has something to do with this. Okay, so. We have nine sticks. Wait, no, we have six sticks. I don't know why I'm saying nine. So we have six, two, four, four? Six, two, four, four, maybe? I was trying to count the number of lines, like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's not six, two, four, four. Is it the same thing where we have the number of corners? That would be, be way too much for the first one. It's only four numbers long, right? Maybe we're counting intersections of lines. So you'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You can't do that. It's 18 sections. Just clicking that to make myself feel better. Um, what do we have? The only thing I can think of is uh, we have three lines crossing with three lines, so that's nine. One line with one line, that only make one. We have four, so nine, one, four, three. Bingo, bingo. Okay, that's gonna be important. 133, 99. I don't know how many periods are in a basketball game because uh, I'm not a basketball player. Uh, okay, we're looking for something here that has a score on it. We have one, two, three, four. We're missing a piece though, aren't we? Yeah, a ball is missing. Like a male dog. Uh, a ball in here. It's five numbers long. That's six numbers. 
Or is this a regular ball? Nothing over here. Okay, so this is how we get those points. So I need to have a number now. That's five characters long. Do any of these only have five numbers in it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, this has seven. But if we look at just the win, draw, loss, can you even have a draw in basketball? But if we look at win, draw, loss, we have two, nine, six, three, that's five. Two, eight, eight, two, that's five. That's five. Next one's five, next one's five, next one's six. Okay, and this was five over here, I believe. Yeah, this was five numbers. Home X Visitor. So we're Ridgeway. Uh, maybe it's two two three thirteen. Oh, that does make sense. This is ninety nine hundred thirty three. Maybe it's one three three nine nine. Let's just try that. Oops. Or maybe it means multiply those two numbers? That can't be right. That'd be too big, right? Um, no, that does give us five numbers. Dude, that's sneaky. Okay. We got our ball. I gotta remember this stuff. Uh, we were 69. Remember that one, because we had the funny number. And... Okay, we just gotta remember some stuff now. I gotta remember pictures. I hate pictures. Oh. I would not have found that if I hadn't stumbled across it. Lordy Lord. Okay, so... 93 was dragons. Panda's 92. Bull is 74. So 93, 92, 74. Three ninety two seventy four. I just remembered uh, this one was the lowest. I was looking up. Exit equals points. And then we're going to multiply it by 13. Okay. How does that help me? Points multiplied by 13. That's one, two, three. It's only three numbers. Uh, we can't do 99 times 13. That gives us four numbers, I think. Yeah, it gives us four. We have only three numbers we can use. And it's times 13. Well, we had... Our points were 69. That gives us three numbers of 897. That was 13, right? Am I dumb? 
Yeah, 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 6 is 13. And 69 times 13 is 897. Because that's what brackets mean, is you multiply the outside by the inside. Or it's a coefficient, but... You wouldn't use brackets for a coefficient, you'd use parentheses. Because you wouldn't distribute before you did the addition inside, that's why you have the parentheses. You do the parentheses first on the inside. Um, which would give you a number that's way too big. Because you'd get 69 plus 2 times 69 times 5 times 69 plus 6 and add those together. That's way too big. I mean, we could find out if that's what he actually means. Uh, so yeah, we'd, we'd have 69 times 2 plus 69 times 5 plus uh, 69 plus 6. I mean, you get the exact same number. You just get 897. Yeah, so you get the exact same number even if you do it, it the incorrect way. Huh, so it's three numbers, and it's points times 13. Who's points times 13? Who's points times 13? The number has to be less than 76, because if you have anything higher than 76, it goes to 1,000. It's like 76.9 times 13 is uh, 1,000. So we have somebody's numbers that's less than 76. So whose points are we talking about? We have, we have all of these people. So we could try 74, 71, and 58. 70, what was it again? 74, 71, and 58. 74, 71, and 58. So we have uh, 74 times 13. 962. Then we have 71. 923. Oops. No, and then we have uh, 58. No, that's none of them. It's only three. This is the part where I hope the developer actually knows math. Um, points times 13. Who's points times 13? I did all the points we had times 13. Oh, I think, I feel like this is the last puzzle, but what could it possibly be? Two plus five plus six? Oh, maybe it means, hold up, maybe it means, maybe it means 92 plus 69 plus 58, 219. Maybe it means 219. Perhaps I was overthinking it by doing math on brackets. Got it. I would have been plumb out of luck if I didn't figure that one out. Oh, no, we're still going. Okay. Dang, this is gonna be huge. Uh, we got two leaves. A crap ton of leaves which is one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine leaves versus two leaves with no number references. Okay. Five numbers again. Plant. Stare out the window. Stare into the soul. Ha! <laughs> Look at you. Bug, take that. More leaves. More staring into the soul. Okay, so how do I determine which one we use? How do we determine which one's first? Is it just a guessing game? Because we have two, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have two, nine, seven. Uh, two, nine, seven. I'm going to write this crap down. Two, nine, seven. Three, and then one, two, three, four, five. Three, nine, seven, three, and five. Maybe it's the size of the branches, perhaps? Such a weird spot for that. Because we have one, two, three. I don't think that has anything to do with it. No, this one's like a, this got two branches on it. Oh, this is a crap ton. One, two, three, four. This makes sense. Uh, maybe we count the branches without leaves on it. So this would have one, two, three, four branches underneath the two, perhaps. So I'm just gonna write that tiny print. This one only has two branches on it. That means the next one has to be one, three, and a five. One, two, three, four, five. This has got six. Well, this one only has three. Or do you only count this as two? Because it's got one, two? Maybe I'm reading into this too much. So if we count the whole stick as one, we have one, two, three, four, five. Because it can't be six. And this one's got one, two, three, four. That's the one, two, three, four, that's the seven. Yeah, so we count this as one, not two. And then this would have one, two, three. Okay, I think I got that right now. So this would be uh, nine, two, three, no, 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 nine, five, two, seven, three. Yeah, okay. That was pretty straightforward. Just had to figure it out. What? That's oh, four, okay. What on earth? Are we counting light sources? One, two, three, four light sources. One, two, three, four light sources. One, two, three, four light sources. Oh, they were colors we went into. This is the last room and this was yellow. Yellow goes last. Oh, how do I know order then though? Green was first. 
And then blue. And wait, that's also yellow, isn't it? Or is that red? I can't tell what color that is. This is definitely green. This is definitely blue. Yeah, 100% that's blue. Green. Red. Blue, yellow. Green, red, blue, yellow. I'm going with that. Where's this red? I have night mode on my screen turned on permanently, so my colors are different. <laughs> Green, red, blue, yellow. No. Maybe this last root room was uh, red, so we flopped red and yellow. So green, yellow, blue, red. Uh, okay, we know green's first, though. So we know green is first. This looks yellow, though, to me. This is yellow, right? No, this is red right here, though. I need to turn off night mode from my computer. <laughs> no. This is this is definitely green. Is there a way to tell though what lights are what though? I don't know how to tell. Cause we have uh, one light bulb there that's green. Then this one's definitely blue. This one's definitely yellow. We have green. Blue, yellow, red. No. I'll figure, I'll, I'm just gonna try random stuff until I figure this one out. There is a way to tell, but I have my colors changed on my screen. This one's difficult. Green's first though. So maybe the reason they're shiny. Are these aimed differently? Maybe these are aimed differently. Hold up. No, they're all aimed in the same direction, aren't they? Yeah, these are all aimed in the same direction. Because if we look at this one, this is staring at a door here. What's What door is that staring at? I don't know what it's staring at. Okay, there's a light here. And then there's a... There's a locker here? Is that the locker? And there's a window and a window. So there's an area with two windows. There's an area with two windows. Okay, so let's look for the area with two windows. I think that's gonna help me out. You can't touch these, right? I got the logic to this one and this one hurts my brain. And yeah, that doesn't change colors at all.
Okay, now this color is yellow when I look at it like this. Like, do we stand in the corner and look at stuff? Dude, I don't know. Okay, I don't get this puzzle. What does this mean? I wish this was bigger. I can't see. They're all the same. The, the reflection, all these are the exact same. So we have a... stare at that so I can get that correct. So the way it's staring... Maybe we need to shut this door. So in the picture... There's no plants in the corner. And staring at this corner, there's no lockers over here. There's no lockers over here. There's no locker here. So how is this picture staring? It can't be at this angle because there's no windows. I don't get this. It's gotta be something. Think, George, think. Because it shows there's lockers on the left on this one. Yeah, there's lockers on the left on all of them. How do we get lockers on the left? I mean, if you stare here, there's lockers on the left. And the, the and this room's red, so is red first? This goes yellow as you come out. Blue. Green. How does this, what is the significance of this being green? Okay, random color pressing time. I'm gonna brute force this one and then I'll figure it out after I brute force it. Yeah, that's all the colors for that one. That's all the colors for that one. So there's all the possible combinations of that one. And then we have green first. We already did all green. We'll do blue first. first. Oh, 
Okay, so it was yellow. Oh crap, I lost it. It was yellow, blue. Crap. It was yellow, blue. Red, green? Was that was that the way? Yellow, blue, red, green. Yeah, I think it was yellow, blue, red, green. Okay, so how how was that? How would we come to that conclusion that it was yellow, blue, red, green? Because red is the last color you're exposed to. Yellow's over here, blue's over here, and green's over there. And it says yellow's the first one. So are you looking like this, perhaps? So then you'd be looking like this, yellow, blue, then it goes green, red. I don't know the answer to this puzzle. I just brute forced it and it happened to be the very last combo I picked. But if you're standing over here, you have the door over there like that, but the window doesn't match the picture. In the picture shown, on the dial you had a window you had two windows shown but you had like a window like that and a window like that but you can't get that from this angle and you can't get that from this angle yeah i have no idea how you get to that solution if somebody knows please let me know uh because that one had to be brute forced Oh my god, this is a long video. <laughs> I'm gonna upload this one before I go to work. Space-time theoretical science class. Oh my good lord. Uh, the Big Bang was disproved. The guy who made that theory said it was a bad theory. It is very dynamic. 180 molecules, so 13.5, 180, 10. We have 13.5, 180, and 10, which does nothing to the stuff on the right. Oh my god, I'm gonna suffer here, aren't I? Oh no. Ah, uh, sure, okay. We just got a new piece immediately right away. I don't want to weigh me. I think I'll break your scales at it. Missing a flask. Okay, so the only thing over here we're missing is a flask. Uh, whatever we do has to equal eight. That's what I meant to do. Got our flask. Nothing else is in here, so we have our flask. Okay, so the first one we have is Linear CS, and then Scythana Lordy. Linear C5, which is just designated as C5. And then Cyan Acetylene, which is HC3N. Then we have good old, you know, ketamine here and then propane. So ketamine and propane. Uh, H2C20 and one H2C. And then these um, 
last two can just be brute forced. We're just straight up drinking stuff. Dude, okay. Oh, that's it. Took us two hours to beat the game. There was only a single puzzle in here that I felt I had no idea on, and that was the color puzzle with the lights. Uh, I still don't know what that puzzle is about. I brute forced it. If someone knows, let me know. Although I suppose I should have timestamped me saying this stuff here. Uh, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put my timestamp and just reiterate what I said. So uh, apologies there. So we have uh, two. Oh, one, twenty-five. Okay, so I like this one. This was pretty straightforward. All the puzzles were very, very easy, though. Like, incredibly easy. I think I got stuck for... That was loud, sorry. I think I got stuck for about 10 minutes, give or take. I got all but one achievement. Where's that last achievement? Window Gazer. Don't mind me, just uh, doing something real quick. And then we're just gonna uh, mute my game sound real fast. I can't mute my game sound, I'm sorry. Hang on, I can fix this. There we go. Uh, so my only complaint with the game is that one puzzle that involved the four buttons with the lights. I have no idea how you come to the conclusion on that puzzle like how how do you figure that one out huh and i'm just i'm just hoping i can get that achievement here um if you all tab out of the game you can't actually click anything so i i can't click anything in the game right now So, okay, we're just stuck on the screen here. Um, so I have no idea on that one puzzle. So if someone knows, please let me know. It's kind of bugging me that I can't figure it out. Other than that, every other puzzle in this game was very straightforward. Uh, except for this first section here, I did get lost at the counting the squares right away. That took me probably the longest of all the puzzles in here. Um, but other than that, yeah, most of these puzzles are pretty straightforward. The The newest one of the series, I felt, had the most diverse puzzles in it. So I like the newest one the best. This one I would still uh, rate pretty okay. I wasn't disappointed at it all, except for that one singular puzzle. Uh, but no, I don't really see what the people are complaining about. Like, I looked at a lot of the reviews. Like, let me go to the reviews real quick of this game. Let me let me read you some of these reviews here. Uh, like this this one said some of the puzzles are so vague that you just try random combinations until you find the answer. That's not even remotely true. Every single one of these puzzles had a clear defined answer, except that light based one, which um, someone's gonna have to explain to me. But there's yeah, there's no. They weren't at all vague. What are you talking about? Let's see. Yeah, one guy in his negative review mentions tab problems. Yeah. Yeah, and he said this. Yeah, same person, same thing. Some of the puzzles towards the end didn't have any valuable hints or guides for you to figure out the solution. What? No, they all had. They, they all did. You just had to figure it out. What? Let's see. Um. Okay, this guy just said they were all too easy. Okay, I can agree with that. They were quite easy, except that one. What's this one guy say?
Oh, and this one guy was just motion sick playing it. But yeah, so most of the people that viewed this one negatively said there was really, really vague or anything like that. I didn't think it was vague at all. Uh, I thought it was pretty okay. Um, yeah, so I disagree with the negative reviews on this. None of them were vague except that light based one, which I just can't figure out. So uh, let me got, let me know what you guys think. Did you like the puzzles in this game? Do you think they were too easy or whatever? Uh, how'd you like them base versus the subnet one I did? Because uh, I'm a I'm much much bigger fan of the subnet one than this one, even though subnet I think took me a lot shorter. Although my hours in Steam on that game will show like nine hours or something because I spent some time AFK while uploading the video for it, and I was like, uh oh. So my, my playtime on the other one will be very much higher. And now I'm going to figure out how to get this last achievement as my last thing I do. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. I might just do another one of these. I really like these games. They're fun to me. All right, peace.